This 15-year-old male Shih Tzu looks like he can urinate and behave normally now, but in fact he previously had urinary stones blocking his urethra and continuous difficulty in urinating. Many actions had to be taken to assist this dog in urinating, such as urinary catheterization and urethrotomy. These terms will be explained later in this video. If the urethra is blocked and the dog cannot urinate from his penis, what other method is there for the dog to pee? Watch this video to find out. This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topayo Vets and is set in Singapore. Let us first discuss the history of this dog. In September 2017, this dog visited a vet due to dysuria and dripping urine. Dysuria is when urination is difficult and painful for the dog. An x-ray was done and it showed that the dog's bladder was moderately enlarged but he did not seem to be feeling any pain. The x-ray showed that there were multiple stones in the dog's bladder, one large stone and several smaller stones. The large stone was composed of both druvite and ammonium urate, but the multiple stones, which were smaller, had 100% ammonium urate composition. After the x-ray and examinations were done, the dog was moved onto a special diet for urinary care, the Hills UD diet. However, after a while, he was moved back onto commercial canned food. Then, two years later, from July to October of 2019, the dog faced a similar issue of dysuria again and had difficulties in urinating. On October 25th, 2019, an x-ray and urine test was done. The urine test showed positive for amorphous phosphate, which this shows that the possible indication of stones in the bladder was present. The x-ray also showed the presence of one large stone blocking the urethra, which prevented the dog from urinating normally. Hence, there were several options available to treat this issue. The permanent solution was a urethrotomy. This is an operation to create an opening behind the dog's penile bone from the urethra so that the dog has an alternate opening to urinate from. The urethra behind the penis is incised. The urethra mucosa is stitched to the skin, creating a permanent opening for urination. 14 days later, the stitches are removed and this allows the dog to pee normally. This opening would also allow any stones that may be present to be passed out. However, the dog is very old and the owner did not want the dog to undergo surgery due to the risk of the dog dying after being under anesthesia. So, the owner decided to use a temporary solution, which was urinary catheterization. This is a process where a tube, known as a urinary catheter, is inserted in the patient's bladder via the urethra, and this allows the patient's urine to drain freely from the bladder. However, the stone kept rolling into the urethra and blocking the flow of urine. Hence, urinary catheterization had to be done every few days to allow the dog's urine to flow out and to push the urinary stone back into the bladder. The problem is, this process of urinary catheterization is extremely tedious and had to be repeated every few days. Later, the owner finally consented to urethrotomy. The surgery was successful and the opening allowed the urinary stone to flow out and the dog can pee normally and with ease now. In this case, the stones were comprised mostly of ammonium urate. Hence, the only solutions would be urinary catheterization or an urethrotomy. However, when the composition of the stones is struvite, an acidifying therapeutic diet like Hill's CD Urinary Care Diet will help to dissolve the struvite stones. For more information, please call our clinic's number or visit our clinic's website at topayovets.com.